Here's a video about representing large numbers using powers of 10. To figure out the name of this number, we can think about what these groups represent. This is our ones group, and then the thousands group. Here's the millions group. And then lastly is the billions group. So we have 250 billion. And we could write this number using the word billion, 250 billion. We also know that we can represent large numbers using scientific notation. One way to think about scientific notation would be to take the large number and keep only the digits that are not in this line of zeros at the end. So I'm just keeping the 2 and the 5, and we like this number to be written with the decimal point right behind the first digit. It's because we want this number to be in between 1 and 10, and putting the decimal point right behind that first digit is always going to create a number between 1 and 10. And now we think about how many times could you multiply by 10 to turn 2.5 into 250 billion? With the decimal point right behind the 2, each time we multiply 2.5 times 10, it's like moving the decimal point over one place. 2.5 times 10 would be 25. And so we want to think about how many times would we need to move the decimal point until it's at the end here, and we're looking at this whole number, 250 billion. So 2.5 times 10 once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times. Another way that we can know how to write this in scientific notation is if we know that this place, the, the biggest place in this number, which is in the hundred billions place, that this place value hundred billion is represented by 10 to the 11th power. But for this video, I want to focus on multiplying by 10 over and over to create a number that gets larger and larger and larger, 10 times larger, which is just moving the decimal point over one more place. So what if I started with a number like 250? How many times would I need to multiply by 10 to create the number 250 billion? Well, we can think about counting the number of decimal places that we would need to move to create a number that large. So if you start with just 250, I'm putting the point there and looking at this number right here, 250, I would need to multiply by 10 once. To, that would make 2,500 or 2,500. So once a second time would make 25,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's one way we could see that another way to write this number would be 250 times 10 to the 9th. And you might also remember that billion represents 10 to the 9th. So 250 billion means 250 times 10 to the 9th, because 10 to the 9th, that's 1 billion. How about another example? What if we start with 25,000? OK, well, 25,000 would be that much so far. There's 25,000, 2, 5 with the three zeros. Let's really block that off and ignore that comma. It's just distracting us. So 25,000. And how many times would we need to multiply by 10 to create 250 billion? Let's see. Times once, two, three, four, five, six, seven more times. So 25,000 times 10 to the seventh would equal 250 billion. Why don't you pause the video to try this one? 2,500, how many times 10 do we need to create 250 billion? So pause the video right now to try it, and then restart when you're ready to look at the answer. So 2,500, I would see right here at the beginning of the number, 2,500, and then how many more multiplies by 10 do we need to build this number up to become 250 billion? And that's the same as how many extra decimal places do we need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I think we want 2,500 times 10 to the 8th would get us to 250 billion. Let's try one from a different perspective. What number would we need if I wanted to say, if you multiply it by 10 to the fifth, 
it's going to equal 250 billion. Well, 10 to the fifth power, this is 100,000, and it's a number with five zeros. So multiplying by 10 to the fifth is essentially going to create that part of the number, the, ten, the, the hundred thousands part, or the five zeros right there, and everything that's left over, we're going to need to include up front to, to create that 250 billion. So I see, I'm not going to try to copy the commas, they're not in the right places. Two, five, zero, let's see, one, two, three, four, five zeros up there. Okay, so it's 2,500,000 times 10 to the fifth would equal 250 billion. Let's try the same idea, but with a little bit of a different concept. What number times 10 to the power of 10 would equal 250 billion? So last time we kind of looked at what zeros at the end of the number we could say are coming from that 10 to the power of whatever. A different way we could think about it is a little more close to what we were doing earlier, which is thinking of each multiply by 10 is moving the decimal point. But instead of us starting with this number that we're going to start moving the decimal point, we're trying to figure out what that starting number was. So from the end of this number, we could say, well, let's get rid of these 10 jumps coming from this 10 to the 10th power. So let's get rid of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. OK, those are all coming from 10 to the 10th power. And we can see that the number that we're left with here is just 25. 25 times 10 to the 10th would equal 250 billion. And it's important for us to know these different representations because they're not always all common, but they do come up and they're useful when we're comparing lots of different large numbers to each other. So it's useful for us to know how we can represent these numbers using all different kinds of powers of 10. That there's a specific kind of scientific notation where we have to use the number part that's between 1 and 10. And if you remember from this one, it was 2.5 times 10 to the 11th. But these other powers of 10 can come in handy also as we're comparing big numbers. Now let's take one more look at this kind of a question using what we know about this number in scientific notation. We found it earlier, it was 2.5 times 10 to the 11th. And we said that one way you could see how this number in scientific notation equals 250 billion would be to put the decimal point right behind the 2 so that we're looking at 2.5 and then counting the 11 times that we'd have to move the decimal point which is equal to the multiplying by 10 11 times and now this question is asking what number would belong right here if we're saying that there's a 10 to the fifth being multiplied right here well 2.5 times 10 to the 11th is our entire number 250 billion but there are five multiplies by 10 going on right here. So that means if we really just need a total of 11 and five are right here, that would mean that we only need six more to equal our 11 decimal point place jumps, whatever you want to call it. So what is 2.5 times 10 to the sixth? 2.5 and now 10 to the sixth. So we're going to multiply by 10 six times. The first one is over this 5 to make 2.5 into 25. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we've got 2, 5 with 5 zeros. And you also might have noticed that we know 10 to the 6th power is million. 2.5 million. So 2 million 500 thousand. And this is an example that we did earlier but just another way that we could figure out what number belongs right here. We know that 250 billion would be 2.5 times 10 to the 11th, and if five of those tens multiplied by tens are happening right here, we just need to make up for the remaining six in this part of the number. And those leftover six, ten, that 10 to the sixth, turns our 2.5 into 
2,500,000. So you know that I like to find lots of different ways to work through these problems, and I just wanted to show you one other option that we have for working with big numbers using powers of 10.